Hello everyone, I am Lemon Hapte. Uh, in my previous video of lesson 31, I have covered introduction to serology and principles of uh, serological tests. Today I will continue my discussion in lesson 32. Uh, this is the second video of uh, Unit 3. In this lesson, I am going to discuss about uh, diseases which are diagnosed by serological techniques. Uh, syphilis serology will be the first. Uh, syphilis is uh, sexually transmitted disease which is caused by a spirochete known as Triponema pallidum. Triponema pallidum is transmitted uh, from person to person during sexual contact or any other skin contact with the lesion. The bacteria has the ability to damage uh, tissues and disseminate throughout the body to cause uh, different states of syphilis. Syphilis has three stages of uh, Disease. The first one is primary syphilis. Uh, during primary syphilis, the patient shows painless ulcer uh, on the genital tract or around the genital tract and other parts of the body where the bacteria enter. Untreated uh, primary syphilis can develop into secondary syphilis, which is characterized by a rash on the skin and the mucous membrane and other parts of the body like uh, palms of the hands. Untreated uh, secondary syphilis can also develop into tertiary uh, syphilis. Uh, uh, during this time, the bacteria further disseminate into uh, deep organs like heart and central nervous system. Uh, by this, it causes cardiovascular syphilis and neurosyphilis respectively. Congenital syphilis. Congenital syphilis means uh, syphilis which is transferred from infected mother to the fetus in the womb and uh, the child uh, shows uh, uh, secondary syphilis uh, after birth. Laboratory diagnosis. Syphilis can be diagnosed by uh, two methods. The first one is direct microscopy and the second one is uh, detecting antibody from the serum by indirect method. Triponema pallidum is delicate or too thin to be visualized with the uh, bright field uh, microscopy and it is also difficult to stain with gram staining or other methods of staining and uh, it is also uh, difficult to cultivate or grow uh, this bacteria or spir spirochete uh, in culture media. So the best method to diagnose this kind of spirochete or this kind of bacteria is dark field microscopy, especially during primary chancre or ulcer, and sometimes uh, from uh, secondary skin lesion. Dark field microscopy is a method where the light is blocked uh, from the source and uh, making uh, the background uh, black. At uh, this time, the bacteria can be seen shining brightly against a uh, dark background. This is a dark background uh, created or formed by blocking uh, the light or closing the light. And this one is a uh, spirochete or bacteria are uh, shining in the dark background. Summary question. Uh, what do we call the lesion in primary syphilis? Second one, uh, which stage of syphilis involves uh, heart and central nervous system? Third question, uh, during congenital syphilis, which stage of the uh, disease is observed? Uh, these are uh, very easy questions. When we come to the second uh, method of uh, syphilis diagnosis, it is serological technique or antibody testing. A person infected with uh, Triponema pallidum produces two types of antibodies. The first one is non-specific antibody. Uh, it is non-specific because uh, it can also be produced by another conditions like infectious and non-infectious diseases. The antibody is known as reagent and it is a non-specific antibody. The second one is a specific triponemal antibody and it is produced after uh, the entrance of the uh, triponema pallidum into uh, the patient or into the host 
and uh, the antibodies produced specifically to bind the triponemal antigen. Summary question, which stage of syphilis is more convenient for dark field microscopy test? Second question, what is the reagent? Non-specific antibody or uh, region can be detected uh, by uh, VDRL and RPR uh, techniques. And these tests, uh, these tests are uh, screening tests, they are not confirmatory tests. Because uh, these techniques uh, uh, detect the antibody region. VDRL is venereal disease research laboratory uh, test. And the antigen and antibody test uh, or reaction can be uh, examined microscopically and it requires uh, heat and activated serum uh, to react with the antigen. Second one is uh, RPR, rapid plasma reagent test. Uh, this type of uh, non-specific uh, reagent test uh, can be examined without a microscope. The antigen and antibody test or reaction can be uh, examined macroscopically. Summary question, what is the difference between microscopic and uh, macroscopic test reading? Uh, this is a very easy question. Uh, RPR is a common type of uh, non-specific test. Uh, carbon particles are attached to antigen to increase the visibility of uh, antigen-antibody reaction. By this, it is possible to read the reaction uh, macroscopically. The, anti the antigen is coated with uh, or attached uh, with carbon particle and uh, it is prepared in the form of reagent. This is a carbon reagent. This one is uh, positive control and this one is negative control. Then we mix one drop of a reagent and one drop of sample, a serum or plasma, and if there is a reaction or agglutination, we report as reactive. If there is no reaction, we report as non-reactive. Interpretation. Reactive means uh, reagent antibody is present, but uh, we are not sure about uh, syphilis. Second option is non-reactive. Uh, non-reactive means uh, reagent antibody is absent. Currently, uh, rapid uh, strip tests are available like uh, this. This one is strip, this one is cassette form. When antigen um, is uh, coated uh, on the strip and uh, if antibody is present uh, in the sample, uh, it will react with the antibody and make lines like this. If there are two lines, uh, we report as reactive. If there is uh, only one line at the control site, we report as non-reactive or negative. The second antibody test is a triponemal or specific triponemal antibody. It is a confirmatory test uh, because uh, this uh, antibody is produced specifically to bind triponemal pallidum. And this uh, test is performed when the non-specific antibody test is reactive to confirm uh, the syphilis. The test we use uh, during this uh, uh, confirmatory test is TPA, uh, TPP, and FDA. Uh, and the interpretation is different from the previous one. Interpretation. Reactive means syphilis positive. Non-reactive means syphilis negative. Summary question. What are the two non-specific syphilis serology tests? Second one. What is the difference between screening and confirmatory tests? The second serology test is uh, performed uh, to uh, diagnose pregnancy or to confirm uh, pregnancy. Human coronic uh, gonadotrophin uh, hormone or HCG is uh, produced uh, during pregnancy uh, by placenta cells. It is produced soon after uh, the fertilized ovum is uh, attached or implanted in the uterine wall. Uh, HCG is detected 
between 26 to 36 days of uh, the first day of uh, last menstrual period or uh, five to seven days after conception or pregnancy. Laboratory test uh, is based on detection of HCG hormone uh, in the urine or serum. Uh, but since urine is uh, easy to collect, we use a urine to diagnose uh, or to detect the presence of HCG hormone. Why do we uh, request uh, this pregnancy test? The first one is to investigate uh, suspected ectopic pregnancy or pregnancy out of uh, the uterus. Second one is to confirm uh, pregnancy of uh, child being mothers. Summary question, what is the importance of pregnancy test is a very easy question. Test procedure. We collect urine uh, in a clean dry container. Uh, we remove uh, the test strip and uh, we can uh, apply the sample by dropping uh, into the sample pad or we can immerse or dip the strip into uh, the urine for five seconds then a uh, test result will appear within three minutes. Summary question, is HCG antigen uh, or antibody test? Uh, this is an antigen test uh, because antibody is uh, coated uh, on the strip and the hormone uh, if it is uh, present in the urine, it will attach with the antibody. This is uh, the picture which shows uh, the procedure of uh, pregnancy test. We immerse uh, the urine, in the strip into the urine uh, without touching the stop line. And after this, uh, we will uh, interpret the result. If there, is, uh, if there are two lines, we report as positive for HCG. One line at the control site, negative for HCG. If there is no any line at the control site, it is invalid. So the interpretation is, as we have said, uh, two lines uh, shows show that uh, positive for HCG. One line as the control site negative for HCG or there is no pregnancy. This is all about today's presentation. Thank you for your attention.